Now let's go on to our next uh, top performer. It's performers, actually. It's a couple. It's Lorraine and Rick Gannon, as she quite rightly said it's that way round in the, uh, <laughs> in the uh, partnership, as I'm sure you will agree. And um, they're going to tell you all about how they have, again, replaced their income and be able to give up jobs and that kind of thing. So please put your hands together and welcome Lorraine and Rick Gannon. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Um, you will note that it says Lorraine and Rick Gannon on the slide as well. That was uh, our little joke there. Come in my place. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so a bit of background for us. So um, I was a police officer, as you most of you know. Uh, this time last year, I was still in the police, although I was um, on a sabbatical. Um, so I was my only experience, as most of you know, again, our strategies, HMOs. My only experience with HMOs was literally arresting people from them. So it wasn't something that I was particularly fond of going into. Okay, my background is um, I'm an accountant and I've been running my own consultancy firm for the last three years. So um, I came home one day and suggested to Rick that we might do this mastermind course. We were accidental landlords before. We had a very small portfolio. We had a property that we lived in and we moved away from, so we decided to rent it out. We also had a commercial property, which some of you have seen, uh, which was a pub that was a, um, a venture that we bought many years ago, and we decided that it wasn't the way forward for us before I joined the police, and we kept that as an asset, and we rented that out as well. So we just had a couple of properties before joining Mastermind. Um, so at that point, we also had, in that house, we had a house that was losing us 300 pounds per calendar month in cash flow. Um, and it's interesting how your mindset changes through this process because we thought at that point in time that was almost like saving money, um, which is like crazy now, hey? Uh, so um, we thought that we were saving money because we had a nice repayment mortgage, et cetera. Um, but we'll come back to that one in, in a bit. Um, so uh, like I said, I've, my business coach for my consultancy business was Andy Gwynn, and I happened to come across a lot of masterminders on the 90-day planning course that I was on. Um, and interestingly, they were talking about all sorts of different strategies and deals and how I might come out of this £300 losing deal on this house I was, we were renting. Um, and then we went to Worcester Pin. I managed to drag Rick along to that. Mm. Lorraine said, there's this guy called Simon Zucci who said you can get a million pound property portfolio and £50,000 a year in income. And I said, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> who is this guy? So Lorraine took us along to Worcester Pin. Um, and it was, I was blown away, blown away with Andy Haynes' speech, blown away with all the people. I've not been part of a corporate background before, so for me, it was completely mind-changing. Um, and then we went on then to do the, the property quick start. Um, so uh, we mentioned it was taking a sabbatical, so we then quickly went on to the three-day accelerator um, and then decided to jump into Mastermind. Um, in terms of our reason why, um, it's interesting that Kingsley mentioned as well about family um, and we're very passionate about what our family have achieved with us and what we do with them. Um, my parents and, and Rick's family as well, we're all very um, close-knit but also they're very supportive of what we do and we couldn't be here today without them so just wanted to acknowledge them here now. Um, but our main reason is Ben and Charlotte, our children, um, and the, the legacy that we might leave them. Um, ben particularly is, is disabled, so um, it, it's very difficult for us to, to look to the future and see what that future might look for him. So we're very much about providing that legacy. And just go, slightly going back to, again, to being in the police, and being in the police um, carried its own share of risks. Um, I was more commonly getting involved in a lot of violence, um, obviously getting older and a little bit fatter. It was a little bit harder for me to perhaps, you know, when I first joined the police, I was young and fit. Needed to make a mindset decision, we needed to change really. We needed to make sure that the family obviously came first. So that was another factor. So going back to the reason why, um, it was very important to us really that we needed to be around and be fit and healthy for our children. So we mentioned family are really important to us and, and the Ben is disabled. So it's very challenging to parent a child with a disability um, as limiting as Ben's is. Um, and, and through this process, um, Ben can tell you most of our tenants' names. Um, he's been dragged along to several of our HMOs to refurbish them. 
Um, he knows Sam Zucci's name. He knows what a BNB deal is and uh, what a HMO is. So it's a, it's a fully encompassing family portfolio, this. Um, but it, it's definitely our reason why. Um, and also the income to be able to choose when to work. Um, that is great to have good cash flow, but also to be able to um, take time off. We put a lot of effort in this year and a lot of hard work our family's been through and some challenging situations. But actually, this will me now mean that we can step back and take a bit of a break and spend that time with our family. So, as most of you know, our strategy has been HMOs. We needed to, because of my sabbatical, we needed to get cash flow quickly. We needed something that was going to generate a lot of cash right at the beginning rather than waiting to do it at the end. So we chose HMOs for the high cash flow strategy. We chose to do it within our local area. When we first joined Mastermind, we said, yeah, we'll invest anywhere. Yes, it doesn't matter, anywhere in the world. But it became quite apparent quite quickly on our first deal that HMOs are very labor intensive at the front end. So we decided then to say, well, okay, we won't invest throughout the whole of the country. We will stay in the, in the area where we live for that reason, because they are very time consuming for those of you who have done them. Um, certainly at the beginning with the setup, anyway. Worcester is also a high demand area with the university. Um, and interestingly, the, the demand has dropped somewhat in the last year, which has also enabled us to, um, to actually make sure that they, we can use the landlords and look for the landlords who might be experiencing some of that low drop. But in, in essence, it has a high demand area going forward. And we're also looking for those tired landlords because they are having challenges in terms of actually um, letting some of the properties at the moment. We were looking, again, for strategies with low initial investment in from ourselves. We didn't have a lot of money to start with. We spent most of it on Mastermind to learn the strategies in order to do it. So we were looking for those ready-made HMOs that we could literally go straight into. Um, and also tired properties, properties that perhaps landlords were a bit sick and tired of in terms of investing their money in and were just looking for the return. So that really quickly gave us a strategy um, to focus on. Um, motivated sellers, again, in terms of some of the landlords and some of the, the estate agency deals we've done as well. This, um, this is our, what's on our whiteboard at home. Um, it, it was originally intended to to, to stare us in the face every day and we look at that whiteboard every day and say what can we do today to take us towards our goals um, and being a, a bit ambitious I suppose we set the goal at 100k per annum just to see if we could um, you know rip this up as it were um, that then we broke that down into bite-sized chunks so we equated that to 8,333 pounds per month and then we equated that to 12 HMOs of around 694 pounds per calendar month so a very clear goal, and we focused on each deal was, let's, what's the next one, what's the next one? It wasn't the 12, it was what's just the next one, which kept the momentum going the way, all the way through the year. Okay, so quick case study number one. Um, this is um, a slimmer version of me, and the one on the right. Um, this is George Street. Um, we purchased this uh, with JV Partners money right at the beginning. So a family member came on board with us. The family member put all the money into purchase. It was a, a, a freehold purchase from an estate agent. Um, we did a 50-50 deal. I managed it. I filled it. Um, my JV partner gets 50% of the property, 50% of the cash flow, as do I. It is our intention uh, in the next six months to now refinance this property. It's been full for now a year with the same tenants. So we've got a great history now and a track record. So we should be able to refinance my JV partner's money back out of this deal. So we've both got 50% equal share in the property. We got it 25% or just under below bricks and mortar value. And the motivation of this particular seller was that his father was going into a care home owing to mental health issues and he needed the money quite quickly. Um, so he put it on the market and literally within two weeks we put the offer in and it was accepted. This property cash flow is about £1,200 a month net. Um, our share of that is 610 So for us, the return on investment on that particular property uh, is... Infinite, Infinite yeah. <laughs> and our joint venture partner gets 10% at this stage. When we refinance that back out, then that will change quite considerably. Okay, case study number two is um, another HMO. This is a rent-to-rent -rent model. Um, the, we sort of fell into some of the rent-to-rents because um, landlords were coming to us with a motivation that they wanted to, to let their house and get rid of the hassle. They were tired of student lets. They were tired of 
um, of just managing that whole process. But they actually, what they wanted to achieve was they actually wanted to achieve the higher rental value at the same time as keeping the asset because they themselves saw it as their perhaps pension pot. Um, so the rent to rent model was literally where we were picking up um, the houses um, at slightly higher sometimes single let value but we were prepared to pay that single let value knowing that higher single let value knowing that we could then rent it out um, on a multi let option um, this case this one came through persistent follow up um, the the landlord came back to us after we sent them a letter introducing what we were offering um, but he chose not to go through the the full purchase option didn't want to sell it because he was in negative equity um, and actually um, he wanted to pay some of that off in the next few years to achieve that. Um, it was an excellent internal condition um, and that meant that we only had to spend a couple of thousand on um, furniture and that net cash flows are £710 net per calendar month. Um, this, this rent to rent particularly has legs in it past the initial um, uh, length of the lease as such because what we can do the landlord is looking if it goes well just to renew and roll over for, the, for another period and we found that with quite a few landlords so our rent to rent model isn't just short term there are potentially some longer term cash, cash benefits in there so the return on investment for that one was 426% which is obviously a huge number okay so total results so this is from a standing start since joining mastermind so I'll just go through very quickly uh, with, with these with you. So HMO number one brings us £610 a month net cash flow. HMO number two brings us £805. £605. Sorry, £605. <laughs> pounds, excuse me. £605. HMO number three brings us £710. This is all net cash flow. This is profit. HMO number four brings us £800. HMO number five brings us £610. HMO number six brings us £759. HMO number seven brings us £750. HMO number eight brings us £1,330 net cash flow. HMO number nine brings us £450 net cash flow. HMO number 10 brings us £830 per month net cash <laughs> flow. stop in a minute. Sorry. <laughs> And HMO number 11, which is our final one, so our most recent purchase, will bring us £1,030 per calendar month net cash flow from a standing start. HMO income since joining Mastermind brings us £8,484 per month profit. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Um, and I, uh, we have a slightly little bit more on top of that as well because there's some, some mentoring property related income which also brings us another £1,600 a month. Um, it, once you get going on those first two deals we did have the, the heebie-jeebies I call it. You know, we, we did phone around the network and we did speak to people that really helped us um, take those deals forward. Um, so whilst it seems that you know, we got that success and momentum later on to begin with there were points in the process where we were close to pulling out. So our yearly income is 121,000. Total value of property, this is including options that we bought or we've taken on an option, just under that 1 million, we've got 940,000 pounds worth of uh, property portfolio. And just coming back to that house that we were losing 300 pounds per calendar month on, um, because of the confidence of this environment and what we were achieving, we were able to refurbish that and do it through, um, put some additional bedrooms on, which will net us another 100K uh, as well. So that, um, we quite like that deal now. Um, our personal goal is also to, um, we found a, a beach house that we've put an offer in at the moment, and because of what we've done in Mastermind, we've put an exchange delayed completion offer in um, because we can now turn that 300 pound loss making house into a, a deposit for that house. Um, so our top tips are, Learn from your mistakes, don't regret them. Use them as lessons to change your future actions. Um, I, I, it's a really silly thing to say, but I quite like making mistakes. I always know there's a massive learning behind it, as long as it's not too expensive, of course. Um, the power of focus, just pick one strategy and repeat. Just keep taking the same action. You can see that we've done that. Um, that has been our strategy. We might take a break now and look to do something slightly different in the future and make chunks of money now that we've got the cash flow up and running. 
and pay it forward. We couldn't have done this without you folks. Okay, so a big thank you to all of you and all the team because you are our driver for this as well as our family because without your help, we wouldn't be where we are. We really wouldn't. So yeah. thank you. And thank you to our coaches, to Simon and also to, um, um, to our investors as well. Thank you. Um, and something Zig Ziglar says um, is you can have everything you, you want in life, you just help enough people get what they want. And that's something that I have written above my desk and I always try and think of that taking it forward. Have a massive reason why is another top tip. Um, really associate with it. Um, Andy Grimm, my business coach, will tell you, visualize it, um, really get behind it, you know, put some energy into it and get emotional with it. Um, and that will give you a really big reason why. So here is something that um, will explain our, our reason why here. It's not working. It's not working. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much.